The tragic case of police constable Ravindra Patil. Who was Ravindra Patil? Why was he so important to Salman Khan's 2002 hit and run case? Well, here are the answers to the questions most of you want answers to. Patil was the on duty police bodyguard of Salman Khan who also happened to be a key witness in this case. So, as the court announced its verdict today and held Salman guilty of all charges against him and sentenced him to five years of rigorous imprisonment, we jog back in time to make you familiar with one witness whose statements were not only crucial but also very, very important in this case. Patil was one of the three members traveling in Salman's Toyota Land Cruiser on the day the accident took place outside American Express Bakery and Cleaners in Hill Road, Bandra. It seemed that along with Kamal Khan, Patil was also in the actor's car when he went out for a ride and late night party to Rain Bar and then to JW Marriott. And even though Ravinder did not accompany the actor for food and drinks, he had confirmed in his statement that Salman was under the influence of alcohol when the said incident took place. While many witnesses turned hostile in this case, Ravindra stood steady and in fact was the one who went ahead and registered the FIR against Salman and even recorded his statement. He had also alleged that he was being traumatized and pressurized to withdraw from his case so that the actor could go scot-free. While the actor himself was technically free and worked in movies, Patil's life turned into that of a criminal in the coming days. Ravindra evaded the media and was apparently forced by Salman's well-wishers to withdraw from the case. Reports also allege that he was asked to inform the court that the accident was not a case of drunken driving, but of a human error. What happened next will leave you in a state of shock. The prime witness was put behind the bars. Yes, Patel missed four court case hearings and hence was not just put behind the bars but also treated like a hardened criminal while in the prison. Patel went missing and was later found in Mahabaleshwar. It seems that so fed up was Patel with the way his high-profile case was going that he just didn't want anything to do with the actor. All he wanted was his job back. Instead, he ended up logged in Arthur Road Jail, the same place where Salman Khan might end up soon. Sadly, Ravinder Patel didn't survive to hear justice being delivered. The constable passed away in a Seabury TB hospital on October 4, 2007 with no family or friends by his side. Clearly, this was one tragic case of an honest constable at work who got lost somewhere in between the crime and the verdict.